The four feathers on this hat are magic. So you see, Johnny, the only thing stopping you from taking Russell Cattle through Four Feather Falls is the sheriff, Tex Tucker. Ben, this is Johnny Pesto you're talking to. I don't get stopped from doing what I want, not by a tin horn sheriff. We ain't got no time to waste. Now with 10,000 head of cattle to get to the railhead, what's so special about this Tucker character? Is he fast on the draw? He's fast, all right. But there's one other thing. Yeah? What's that? His magic guns. Magic guns? <laughs> if that ain't the craziest thing I ever heard. Okay, you laugh. But just you try for yourself. You'll find out. Well, I guess I'll have a little chat with this Tucker guy in the morning. Try a, a little kindness first. Oh, seems we're gonna have a nice, quiet day, fellas. Yeah. Maybe we could go down to the creek later for a swim, eh, boss? Yeah, what a refreshing idea, old chap. Yeah, I could take young Jake along and get in a bit of fishing. I say, it seems we have visitors, Tex. Hope I'm wrong, but this looks like trouble with these guys around. You know him, boss? Sure do. Heap bad medicine, the pair of them. So you're Sheriff Tex Tucker? Yep. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Johnny Pasto, and your friend over there is a Nevada kid. Pretty smart. Hope you're gonna stay smart. Meaning? Just this. I got a herd of beef I want to get in the railhead. That means I got to take them through here. No dice. I don't allow stolen cattle through this town. You can't prove they're stolen. And if you're smart... Yeah? You don't ask questions. And you make yourself a thousand dollars. And what happens if I ain't smart, as you put it? Do I have to spell it out for you? Looks like I'm just a dumb lawman. So my answer is, get out of this town and stay out. That's your final word? Do I have to spell it out for you in lead? OK, but don't say I didn't warn you. Boy, oh boy, that's a mean rattler. You are, Dusty, as they say, darned tooting. Well, he won't play. Just say the word, Johnny, and I'll rub him out. No. I want to make sure this job's done right. We'll ambush him tonight, the three of us. Cause the Hopi Indians of old saw a white prospector steal their gold. Now you can see his ghost and hear the haunting wail of the phantom rider on the Hopi trail. We'll get him when he makes his rounds. Nevada, you get over by the store. Okay, Johnny. Ben, you take your stand near the hotel. Sure. Where you gonna be? I'll wait here. That ought to box him in real nice. Around the Grand Canyon, you can hear the tale of the phantom rider on the Hobie Trail. Well, Dusty, I reckon it's time to make my rounds. Yep, boss. Let's get it over with so we can get a bit of shut eye. <laughs>
Yeah. The low down murdering skunks. Let's get after him, quick. Don't worry, old timer. They'll be back. And if Mr. Johnny Pasto and his friends want war, they're gonna get it. Maybe now you'll believe me. As long as Tex Tucker has them magic guns, he's got the drop on us. Yeah. Okay. Then we gotta get him away from him. We gotta make him fight with Autumn. But how are we gonna do that, Johnny? I'll think of something. I'm driving them cattle through this town and ain't nobody gonna stop me. Least of all a star toting sheriff. Well, what goes on? Howdy, Mr. Jackson. What's all the excitement? Oh, uh, 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 nothing, Tex. No, nothing at all. <laughs> uh, don't bother your head about it. I ain't bothered, Mr. Jackson. Just interested, that's all. Oh, well, it just ain't nothing there to interest you, Tex. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, maybe you'd like to uh, come over to my office and join me in some coffee. You seem awful anxious to stop me, Marvin. That makes me more curious. Look, Tex, I'm a friend of yours. Don't fall for it, whatever you do. Watch out, here comes Tex. Oh, well, I um, guess I'd better be getting back to my work. Me too. I gotta go too. This here is to say that Tex Tucker is a low down yellow coward that ain't got the guts to fight without his magic guns. Any time he wants to fight man to man, he just has to say the word. Sign John Z. Pasto. Johnny says he's prepared to back it up right down the line. I'm a lawman. I ain't allowed private quarrels. Like I thought. You're yeah. All the same, for a low-down back-shooting cattle thief the like a pasto, I'll make an exception. What about the magic guns? I don't need them for skunks. Tell Pasto I'll meet him tomorrow at sunup. Alone? Alone. Boss, it's loaded against you. They're going to use every dirty trick in the book, and you walk right into it. I know, Dusty. But sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do. Yeah. To take him on without the magic guns. Ain't you forgetting, Dusty? I learned to handle a 44 long before I got the magic guns. Maybe folks is beginning to think I just can't shoot straight without them. Without them magic guns, Tex Tucker ain't nothing. But I ain't one to take chances. Nevada, you get in that wagon. And Ben? Yeah, Johnny. You keep in the barn. Once he sets foot in his corral, we gotta make certain that he don't get out alive. All right, you two, stay out of sight. It'll be light soon. Okay, fellas, time to go. Oh. Oh, boss, do you have to go? Tex, surely, old chap. Let's be on our way before the whole town knows about it. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I, I do wish Tex had listened to me. Poor old Tex. He just don't stand a chance. It just ain't right, that poor boy going off alone to fight those terrible men. There he goes, Grandpa. I sure hope he knows what he's doing. <sighs> you know, Dan, I think I'd better stay around. Well... I reckon I'll have to wire today for another sheriff. Look after this for me, old timer. Oh, boss. I'll be back for it. Hold it, Tucker. I ain't got no quarrel with you, personal. You see it my way and let my cattle through, and no one's gonna get hurt. You called me a coward, Pasto, and I wouldn't want anyone to think I was scared of you. I tell you again, I ain't letting your rustle cattle through this town. Okay, Sheriff. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm taking you in for attempted murder of a peace officer. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, Pasto, start walking towards the jail. Oh, no, you don't, Tex Tucker. Drop them guns. This time, you're beaten. Too bad you wasn't smart, Tex. Oh, this town is gonna need a new sheriff. I think I'll take the job on myself. That way I can make sure no one will stop me taking my herd through. And there's gonna be plenty more. Okay, Nevada, he's all yours. And this was supposed to be a fair fight. I might have guessed the kind of skunk you were, Pasto. Especially after the way you tried to ambush me the other night. I'm taking you in, and I'm holding you until we find out who them cattle belongs to. Now get going. No! No, Tex! Hold it! Come out, and with your hands up. Well, maybe Tex was right. Maybe we was beginning to think he was helpless without the magic guns. Well, he sure proved us wrong. Now I reckon Tex Tucker is the fastest gun alive. What do you say, Dusty? Home to Gun Tex of Texas is a guy with the straightest deal. But he keeps the law with the fastest drawer and a nervous strongest deal. A ho to gun Tex of Texas will never let you down. But play it bad and he'll get mad. So cover your tricks from two gun Tex, the smartest guy in town. The smartest guy in town.